For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking some Wildcat football here with head coach Ken Collins and senior tight end, fullback, and tailback Jonathan Parker. Let's start right there. America's newest running back sensation, <laughs> averaging five yards per tote. Tell us about uh, carrying the ball last week. I mean, it felt great. It's the first time I've carried the ball in the backfield since high school. So it was, it was kind of a, it was a great experience, you know, to be able to carry the ball in a college game and be able to fill some of the shoes that we had been missing because two of our backs were out. So it was good to help out however I could. Your offensive coordinator, Nathan Young, said, I don't know if he's going to make anybody miss, but he won't be fun to tackle. Would you say that's kind of how it went? I mean, it's a little bit easier to run people over whenever you're 6'4", 260, <laughs> yeah. as opposed to a smaller back. So, I mean, I know my skill set, and I'm going to, you know, try to make a couple people miss, but I know that I need to get yards. So, All right, tell me about the game uh, last Saturday. 21 nothing. you guys defeat Incarnate Word. Uh, in what really, in a lot of ways, was just a weird game. It rained in the middle of the game off and on. Uh, it felt like you blew them out, and yet the final score wasn't quite... Um, revealing that so how would you characterize last week I think it, it we, we struggled a little bit as an offense you know the fact that like I said that we had two of our starting running backs out you know we've we've established a running game in previous games and I think that's helped us out a lot to open up the passing game so the fact that we didn't have that as much you know we still had uh, a pretty good running game but we didn't have as effective as the one as we had in the past so I think that 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 you know struggled it made it harder for us to kind of open up the passing game. You know, we did have a lot of great um, big yardage passes and things like that. But, I mean, it, it was just it seemed a little bit off. Well, you've been a part of, as a senior now, some of the most prolific offenses that uh, the Lone Star Conference and now the Southland Conference has seen. You caught passes from Mitchell Gale, from John David Baker, from now from Parker McKenzie. You've seen how great that this offense can be. Tell me where you feel like uh, this unit is right now four games in. I'm, I'm really impressed with how we've come along these first few games, you know. Coming into it, we had a lot of young offensive linemen, you know, young quarterback, a lot of uh, really unknown receivers. And so I've been really impressed by the fact that we've had a lot of young guys that have stepped up and filled a lot of the roles. And I, I think that we're on the right track. Okay, let's talk to your head coach here, Ken Collins. You know, we get enamored, uh, certainly we in the media, fans get enamored of, of big numbers, looking at the stats, and people see the numbers that some of your teams have put up in recent years, and yet you ha have had to break in two new quarterbacks each of the last two years, and one of the guys you've leaned on heavily is this guy to my right, Jonathan Parker. What's he meant to the offense that's allowed some of those gaudy numbers to take place? Well, when uh, when guys like you in the media ask me preseason questions like who is who, who's your go-to guy, who are guys to watch, he was the number one guy. Hey, the guy to watch is Jonathan Parker. And I got some crazy looks because it's like, well, this guy doesn't catch a ton of touchdowns. He's not going to score from 70 yards out. But he is a critical ingredient in what we do because he's so versatile. He's big, strong. He can run, catch, and he can run the ball. Everybody's freaking out because we gave him the ball. That's nothing to us. We see it in practice all the time. So, so what you see in a game is simply the fact that we put him all over the place because we trust him. He, he's very intelligent. He's instinctive. Uh, so, you know, he is he is a reason why we were able to be so versatile last year and, and this year. And uh, he's doing a great job for us. Herschel Sims and DeAndre Brown, he mentioned they were injured, were in street clothes last week. Will they be in uniform and how much will either of them play or do you know yet? Herschel will, he'll hit the ground running, okay. you know, so he'll be our guy. We'll, we'll put it on him. Uh, DeAndre is still hit and miss. His knee is still a bit sore. He didn't practice yesterday. So. Uh, how far he progresses this week, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out whether he's ready. And if he's, if he's not ready, won't we, we, somebody will step up. We may give it to Big Boy here quite a bit. Your defense dominated last week. And really, I felt like it was an extension of what they did midway through the third quarter on through the end of the game against Troy. They held incarnate word, albeit a team struggling offensively, to less than 140 yards offense and nine first downs. That had to be a huge takeaway from last Saturday. Oh, it was huge, and I loved watching them play on, on Saturday. The thing about our defense is we are growing. We're getting more and more people involved. We're getting more young D linemen out there. More, and, and, and those guys are playing hard. They're flying around, laying out for balls, and they're just they're really they play with a heavy passion. And I like watching them play. And the fact that 
the second half of the Troy game, they played really, really well, and they continued that on through through four quarters pretty much. And, and uh, you know, we were able to kind of tighten up on their receivers a little bit, uh, add some extra guys to the box because we knew, uh, you know, we knew their quarterbacks were struggling a little bit, and that's just kind of what you do. You put a little more pressure on those guys uh, to execute, and, and they ended up doing a really good job. We saw the first career sack for LaMarcus Allen. We saw the first two career interceptions for Sam Denmark, your freshman linebacker. Last year, you go down to Houston Baptist. You beat them 69-12. to It was their first season of football. Didn't even play a full schedule. You told me earlier in the week, this is a better team than you played last year. Oh, without a doubt. You look out there and you see athletes running around, and, and it's like, okay, that guy can run and hit, and that guy can cover. And that the, that receiver, they got several that can go up and get a deep ball. And and uh, and you know, with Jonathan Fleming, their uh, their quarterback, he's starting to get into a groove. And and uh, so it, it it'll be. Well, I mean, we need to go play four quarters of quality football in order to win this game. All right, it'll get going at seven o'clock on Saturday night down at Husky Stadium at Houston Baptist. There is a. An ACU tailgate at 5 p.m. You can get more information right here at acusports.com. Lance Fleming and I will have the pregame show at 6.30 on the ACU Sports Network. ACU and Houston Baptist Saturday night. For Jonathan Parker and for Coach Ken Collins, I'm Grant Boone.